um, in terms of what I see in the future, uh, so future skills and roles, um, and it's interesting that I'm doing this uh, research on skills needs because I think that's exactly, um, uh, that's very relevant here. Um, there's a couple of things. Um, I think one thing that keeps coming up and again in, in these discussions with not only brands, but um, institutions that kind of form the curricula that um, um, vocational institutions base their curricula from, one thing that keeps coming up is this idea of a, of a collaborator, of a, of a puppet master, that sounds terrible, but um, someone who has a bird's eye view and who knows the importance of being able to create new connections across the value chain. Because in a circular value chain, we need to start connecting with people that we haven't necessarily connected with um, in the past. And that could be um, with other organizations, but also internally. And organizations sometimes need to start doing um, processes, conducting processes slightly differently to what they've been doing. Um, so this idea of a, um, what would you call it? Let's say system thinker, but someone who has a bit of a bird's eye view, someone who is very um, uh, alert to the nuances and to the changes that will be necessary. Um, and secondly, um, I think what I'm hearing is, um, a reliance on, and I think a hope we um, on on the ability for technology to to streamline a lot of the processes that were lacking at the moment. Um, so if you think of scaling textiles repair, for instance, very specific, but this is a case I was talking about today. Um, organizations are really looking to technology to, to be able to solve that. And whether that's machinery, such as the fiber salt that I just mentioned, you know, people handling that machinery or really um, technology in the sense of building a platform that will enable, um, uh, let's say community driven reuse or uh, rental or re-commerce, something like that. So I think um, I think there's a fantastic opportunity in, in technology. Um, 